Is Roblox feeling laggy or dropping FPS after the new update? Don't worry. In this video, I'm showing you the newest Frost Strap settings that completely fix lag, boost FPS, and make your game feel smoother than ever. So stick around, because by the end of this video, your Roblox will run like a beast. Let's dive right in. Gear Up Booster is a great tool that helps reduce your ping while playing games, and it works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it safely from the official website using the link in the description and enjoy with lower ping. Step 1. Make your CPU work at full power by unlocking all processors. Alright, in this first step, we're going to unlock the full power of your computer's CPU so Roblox can run smoother, faster, and without those annoying frame drops or random lag. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and type System Configuration into the search bar. Once it appears, click on it to open the Settings window. Inside, click the Boot tab at the top and then select Advanced Options. A smaller window will pop up. This is where we'll unlock your CPU's full potential. In this new window, check the box that says Number of Processors, and then click the drop-down menu. Choose the highest number you see there. That's the total number of cores your CPU actually has. By doing this, you're telling Windows to use every single one instead of just one or two, giving Roblox all the processing power it deserves. Once you've done that, click OK, then Apply, and close the window to save your settings. Restart your computer afterward to make the changes take effect. Step 2. Unpark CPU cores to make your processor work better for gaming. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Your CPU has multiple cores, which work together like small workers that handle different tasks on your computer. When some cores are parked, your CPU can't use its full power, causing lag or FPS drops in Roblox. To fix this, open the Unpark CPU tool from your FPS Boost Pack. Right-click on it and select Run as Administrator so it can make system-level changes safely. When the tool opens, you'll see a list of all your CPU cores. If you see any that say Parked, that means those cores are turned off or idle. Click the Unpark button and the tool will instantly wake up all your CPU cores. This makes sure your processor uses 100% of its power when you're gaming. Once done, Roblox will run much smoother, your FPS will rise, and you'll have less lag, especially in large servers or heavy worlds. From now on, your CPU will always stay ready to give maximum performance for your games instead of slowing down to save energy. Step 3. Use Frost Strap and Fast Flags to boost Roblox performance. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now here's where things get exciting. The new Frost Strap launcher has quickly become the number one Roblox performance launcher after the recent update. It's basically an upgraded version of Plexity, and it can push your FPS up to 500 plus even on mid-range or low-end PCS. Let's set it up correctly for the best results. Start by downloading Frost Strap Launcher from your FPS Boost Pack or from the official site. I'll drop the link in the description. After installing, open it by searching for Frost Strap in your Windows search bar. Once it's open, click Configure Settings to begin the setup process. Integrations tab. Turn on. Enable Activity Tracking. This helps Frost Strap automatically adjust for smoother performance. Query Server Location. Shows which Roblox server you're connected to and helps monitor ping. Playtime Counter. Improves long session memory management. Game History Menu. Lets you rejoin games quickly without restarting Roblox. Bootstrapper Tab. This tab helps clean old data and make loading times faster. Set file deletion schedule to after two months. Turn on cache cleanup to remove old Roblox files. Turn on logs. Move to free up storage space. Enable frost strap logs for faster startup speeds every time you launch Roblox. Mods tab. Here you can control visuals without losing FPS. Turn off. Use old avatar editor background and emulate old character sounds for cleaner visuals. Keep mouse cursor on default. Set preferred emoji type to default, Twemoji. It's lightweight and efficient. Fast flag settings. This is the secret sauce behind the huge FPS boost. Anti-aliasing quality, RMAA. Set to 2x for smooth visuals and stable performance. Pause. Weather. On. Removes rain slash fog effects that slow down gameplay. Gray sky. On. Gives simpler skies for better FPS. Disable grass. On. Big performance boost on weak PCs. Low poly meshes. On. 
simplifies 3D models for higher FPS. Rendering mode. Vulkan delivers smoother frame times and faster rendering. Fast flags. Editor. Click. I know what I'm doing. Then click Add New. Now open your FPS Boost Pack, copy the Fast Flags text file, and paste it into Frost Strap. Hit OK to save. Appearance Tab Set app. Theme to Dark and Window. Backdrop to Mica. Both look clean and use less GPU power. Leave custom app font as default and language as English US. After settings, Frost Strap clearly wins. My FPS jumped from around 120 on Plexity to over 560 plus FPS on Frost Strap, with smoother gameplay, lower input delay, and no lag spikes even after the new Roblox patch. In this step, I'm going to show you a helpful tool that can make your Roblox connection more stable. First, download the Gear Up Booster tool from its official website. I've added the official link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. The first thing you'll need to do is sign in with either your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can also browse through thousands of games available for optimization. To improve your network and FPS, go back to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Roblox, click the Boost button, and the tool will automatically start optimizing the game by finding the most suitable server for you. Next, choose your server region. Always select the nearest server for the most stable connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. Now, go to the End tab where you'll see a list of servers available in your region. You can either choose the nearest one manually or let GearUp automatically pick the best option. For the best results, I recommend keeping it on automatic. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. Step 4. Improve GPU performance with MSI Afterburner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. Now let's focus on your GPU, the graphics card that makes Roblox look and feel smooth. To make it run better, we'll use MSI Afterburner, a trusted tool for safely tuning GPU settings. Download and install MSI Afterburner, then open it. You'll see sliders for power limit, temperature limit, core clock, and memory clock. Don't worry, we'll take it slow. First, set power limit to the maximum allowed value. Then set temperature limit to the max as well. Leave core voltage alone, we won't touch that. Next, slowly increase your memory clock in small steps. For example, start by adding plus 20, then test Roblox for a few minutes. If everything runs fine, increase by another plus 20. Keep testing until you see any issues like flickering or crashes, then go back to the last stable setting. Once you find the sweet spot, click apply to save it. This will let your GPU run at peak performance, giving smoother frames, fewer stutters, and higher FPS in Roblox. Just remember to test carefully and not push it too far. Stability is key. Step 5. Free up RAM. Using ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. You can get all the files from my official website. I give link in the description of this video. RAM is like your PC's short-term memory. When it fills up with leftover data, Roblox can start lagging or freezing. We'll fix that using a simple but powerful tool called ISLC, Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. Open ISLC, and at the top, you'll see your total system memory. In the box that says free memory is lower than, type in half your total RAM. For example, if you have 32,000 megabytes, type 16,000. If you have 16,000 megabytes, type 8,000 bytes, type 8,000. Next, check these two boxes. Start ISLC minimized. This makes it run quietly in the background. Launch ISLC on user logon. This makes it start automatically when Windows boots up. Then, enable timer resolution and set it to 0 0.50. Change the polling rate to 1000, or if your PC is really low end, set it to 10,000 to save CPU usage. After that, click stop, then start. And finally, purge standby list to instantly free up RAM. This gives Roblox more memory to work with, which means fewer freezes, smoother gameplay, and faster loading times. It's one of the best tricks for low-end PCS. Step 6. Optimize game mode and graphics settings for Roblox. Finally, we'll make sure Windows gives Roblox the highest priority possible. Open Windows settings, search for game mode, and turn it on. This helps minimize background programs while gaming. 
Then search Graphics Settings, click Browse, and find your Roblox Player Beta.exe file inside your Roblox folder. Add it, click Options, and choose High Performance, then click Save. This ensures your GPU always focuses all its power on Roblox instead of wasting it on background apps. If you've followed all these steps carefully, your Roblox should now feel like a completely new game. Higher FPS, lower ping, and zero lag.